Hey everybody, welcome to this masterclass on how to find your winning online course idea. My name is Dan Henry, and I am going to show you the things I have learned from creating online courses that have sold over $10 million for my company alone. So, uh, the three things I'm going to show you today are number one, how to find your winning online course idea. Then I'm going to show you how to test your idea to make sure that it will sell. And then I'm going to show you how to actually sell it to where it sells every day on autopilot. Okay. So let's jump in. So this is probably, um, the one that requires the most explanation is how to find your idea. So here's the thing. The secret here is to understand that you don't need this huge elaborate idea or you don't need to be the best in the world at what you do. So how you have to really look at this is what have you done in your life that other people would love to know how to do as well? How can you help them? Even if it's entry level, how can you help them do that? As long as you know something, even if it's a little bit that somebody else wants to know, you can charge, you can charge for that. Okay. So to give you an example of, you know, uh, not needing to be the best in the world at something. Okay. There are, you know, there are people that sell jujitsu courses, right? Uh, and I've seen them, they sell jujitsu courses. These are not people that are UFC champions. They're just normal everyday people that train at gyms. They sell jujitsu courses. I've also seen women's self-defense courses or basic how to, how, I saw this one course where this guy who isn't even a professional fighter, he's an amateur fighter. All he was doing was he was showing people how to survive an attack using this thing called the V method. I don't, I don't know what it was. And then how to escape the attack. That was it. And he, and he sells tons of this, right? Like you don't have to be uh, Tony Robbins to sell a personal development course. And to give you another example, Tony Robbins is not a certified life coach. In fact, all the life coaching organizations denied him certification because he didn't want to follow their rules. And guess what? He's the highest paid life coach in the world. So if you think that you're not credible enough or whatever, that's not the case. But when you're trying to find your idea, all you have to ask yourself is, what have I done in life? What do I know how to do that someone else would want to know how to do? And if you don't have anything, you can still sell digital information. I know several people who sell other people's information. For instance, Andrew Warner owns a company called Mixergy. He interviews top business people. He gets their advice. He records the interview, and then he sells access to those interviews for a fee. And he makes tons of money doing that, all right? So the thing is, is you could actually go out and interview other experts and you could then take that collection of interviews and sell it. You don't even have to be the expert yourself, okay? Look at the company, Master, uh, I think it's Masterclass. Is it masterclass.com? You see these actors and these directors and these writers, you've seen the, the, the ads for them. They say, hey, I'm, I'm uh, you know, Julia Roberts and this is my masterclass. This company went out and literally partnered with all these actors and writers and directors and, you know, and, and they literally had them film a class and sold it online and partnered with them. Like, that's the thing, guys. Anybody can sell digital products and find that winning idea after you have an idea that you think, oh, this could be an idea. Well, before we go and try to sell it, why don't we test it? So now we move on to the second secret, how to test your idea. So check this out. What you must understand is that free equals sales. Free equals sales. What does that mean? That means if a large amount of people will, I'm drawing like the worst stick figures right now, but if a large amount of people or even a moderate amount of people are interested in obtaining something for free, then a percentage of those people will be willing to pay for the information in greater detail. You only need a fraction a fraction of people that obtain something for free to build 
a highly successful, highly profitable online education business. So how do you test that? Well, I'm gonna teach you a method right now called the curious expert. So all you have to do is go to your network of existing people that know you, maybe you have a Facebook group, maybe you just have people that know you on your profile, whatever. And you say, hey, uh, as you guys may know, I have done this, or I know how to do this, or I recently learned how to do blank, whatever it is. I thought about putting together a little ebook or training video for free on how to do this. Would anyone be interested? That's it. If a bunch of people, and I don't mean a, I don't mean hundreds, because maybe you don't even have hundreds of friends on Facebook, but if more than a few people say yes, well, that means that probably the larger section of the market would say yes as well. And if you have a bunch of people saying yes to that, to taking it there, and they're still paying you, they're paying you in time, they're taking their time to consume what you're offering for free. That that people value their time. So if several people say yes, that means that a percentage of those people will say yes when it comes time for you to offer them premium information for a fee. So simply by doing the curious expert, you can test your idea and at least know that you're on the right track. The third secret, how to sell your idea. So let me go ahead and show you the system that we use to sell our idea, okay? Now, of course, we must properly vet our idea. First, there is a process to vetting your idea and making sure it'll sell. But once that's all done, and once you're like, okay, this is the course idea, right? That This is it. This is the one. Here's how we do it. We make one core piece of content, and usually this is either a video sales letter or a webinar, all right? And this is a core piece of content, right? I'm just going to put this video right here, right? core piece of content that sells our offer. And everything revolves around this. So we might have, say, a landing page here. And I'll, I'll just break it down our whole funnel. Let's say we do a Facebook ad, or maybe it's a YouTube video, or a YouTube ad, or an Instagram post, or just sharing in a, our Facebook group, whatever the traffic source is, it comes into the landing page. The landing page then goes to the webinar. We do not, we keep it simple. We do not have a, a countdown page, a waiting page, none of that. We go right to the webinar. We do an on-demand webinar. And then what we do is we take them to an order page. Or if we're selling something that's a little more expensive, a little more high ticket, um, or we were just choosing to sell over the phone, whatever, we might take them to a, a, a book a call page. Either way, this is a page that requires them to take another action. But this $8 million, of this because the other, you know, out of 10, 11 million, 8 million came from this funnel and then another two to 3 million came from a phone call funnel. Anyway, this right here is the system. Now, once they get out of this video, they either say yes, no, maybe. Now, you will have that, you know, one, one, one to two percent that right off the bat say yes. And then you'll have, you know, whatever, how many ever it is, tw let's say 20 to 30% that say no. But the vast majority are going to say maybe. And this is where a lot of extra profit is in because you can take this one per two to 2% and you can increase it to three to 4% or more by using the fence method. And the fence method is where we take our maybes and we visualize them as if they are a person on a fence. And what we do is we simply create additional content like emails or videos. And this is stuff you can do in your spare time. You can just keep adding to it. And what we do is these are additional things that handle objections and convince the customer to, you know, get off the fence. And so we keep chucking this stuff at the customer until they fall over to the side of the fence that is yes. And that is how we built an eight-figure education business. It's super simple, okay? But let me ask you, how do you make, you know, how, how do you really find that core, that idea that you're sure is going to sell? Would it help you if somebody or a team of people who have sold millions of online courses could look at that idea and be like, yeah, that's a good idea, or eh, it needs, you know, and then how to test your idea. What happens if you do that test and people are interested. Well, now 
Now we have to, to sell it. Now we have to put all this together. And so how awesome would it be if there was someone who could not only help you put all this together, but could literally hand it to you 95% complete and finished where all you got to do is plug in your videos and adjust some copy, you know, fill in the blanks and you have a system to sell your idea and make a highly profitable business, turn your passion or even somebody else's passion into profit. Well, if that interests you, what I'd like you to do, click the button below, answer some questions about your idea, and then on the next page, pick a time to talk to my team. On the call, we're going to take a look at your idea, what you've already done, what you've already tried, and then we're gonna map out a plan for you to create an actual lucrative online course business. And if you like our plan and you like how it all sounds and, and you, you feel like it could take you to the next level, we will show you what it looks like to work with us. And at that point, if you want to become a part of it, great. If not, no worries. Okay. There's no pressure, but at the end of the day, you're going to get value out of this call because you're going to get a lot of clarity. You're going to get a lot of, of clarity on what it is you need to do to get to the next step. Hopefully we're the one to help you. If not, that's fine book that call. All right. We're not going to be doing these for longs. Book that call. Let me see if my team can help you. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this masterclass. And I can't wait to see you become successful. And hopefully one day soon I get to work with you and I can be the person to help you get to that next level. And you can be my next success story. All right. See you soon. Click that button.